was asked, I'll stand for a couple of pictures on here, that uh, how I get my ponds to clear. Well, it's through the filtration, of course. Anyway, I'll just show you what setup I've got. This is the cover I've got over my uh, Nexus. I'll take the covers off and then I'll just show you. Twenty that I run. I've been running this for about about six years, seven years now. It's uh, fed from uh, from the base of the pond uh, and then uh, pump fed back into the pond, going through a UV down there. UV down there is a 55 watt one. And I've also got another one up the top with my other filter system. I usually clean that out, well, summertime, twice a week, definitely. Winter time, I'll just do it once every, every two or three weeks. But, uh, I don't feed in winter, of course. I'll put a polycarbonate top over the pond and we sit there for five months near about no food or anything and they're fine in fact they come out better than ever at the end of the year one other thing whilst I'm on this uh, nexus people were asking how I got rid of my fines uh, I've only just put this in today but this is what I use beer filter I came on Amazon for about 15 quid, it's 10 pounds when I bought this. And I just put a little cut of plant pot top off and put it on the top there, just to broaden it out. Stick it in there, a bit of wire attached so I can just pull it out. But that needs clean every day or every two days, definitely. You've got to collect all your fines. That's clean now, as I said, because I've, uh, I've not been using it, but I was asked about them anyway. I thought I'd better show it whilst I'm at it. There's this easy pod. Uh, again, I've had this about 10 years now. I did, uh, I put these, uh, it's like plastic. Um, uh, I attached some plastic to the, um, what do you call it, where, where your filtration and stuff goes. It's to stop it bubbling over when I, you know, those that use them know what I'm on about. But uh, yeah, it proves very good. And with this one, I've got a, another 25 watt UV on. So as you can guess, there's plenty of filtration and plenty of UV. And I'll show you my other little this filter. This one I run with just a, just a small pump on it. I can't remember now. I think it's a 2000. But it's just for the, for the waterfall, really. But it does, it serves a good purpose as a filter. I don't know if you've seen these, but the OAS ones. Just to show you what I mean. It's, it's like sponges inside and you've got handles here. You can just once a week, I do it with this anyway. You can see how dirty that water is, the sponges are in there. There's six on here. And you just look at the colour of this water as it comes out now. And this is after what I did this four days ago. See the dirt in that water. Let's do it again. I don't want to be Saturday normally. It's only Thursday today. You usually get about two and a half, three buckets out. As you can see, the colour of that water. And I said they're so easy to use. There's a little UV on this. Uh, I haven't got it switched on actually. I think it's only a, a 10 watt. But uh, they're ideal of those, especially if you're in a waterfall and use it as a, a second filtration system. We may it's my third, isn't it? But as you can see, that's I've got plenty of filtration on and plenty of UV. And that's how I. Uh, Hopefully keep my water clear, which, which touch wood, I, I haven't had a problem. I think uh, the first time I put the new system in, the Nexus, it took about two months maybe, maybe even a bit less. 
it, it was fine after that. You've got to wait for the filters to settle in, of course. And yeah, no problem. Just a pity the sun's not shining today. You could see better, but you uh, can see this is absolutely manky. But that's just from that little box filter. The other thing, of course, is uh, with this dirty water, fish crap water, as I call it, it's very good for the gardens. As you can see, I'm I'm into my gardens a little bit, but uh, all that waste water, fish crap water. <laughs> well, from the two smaller filters, I can't do it with a big one. The two smaller ones, I, I just drain off the buckets and put it onto the garden. And as you can see, I mean, we're in what, 19th September now, and I've still got a fair show. Quite pleased with it this year actually. And I put it down to a lot of it uh, using my uh, fish waste water. I say it's a bit of sun not shining today. You can see a lot better then. Right, I'll wrap it up with that, I think. They're slowing down quite a lot with the feed in now. The temperature up here being down, well, being down at 10 and 9 degrees overnight. Uh, tops during the daytime 15, 16. And then the south is still getting 20 plus, aren't they? Anyway, hope that's about some hope to some people. A few questions that I would ask.